So I added some ventilation holes into the uh, green board. It's pretty cool looking. It's like fucking Halloween looking. But the camera should be able to peek in. I think the guys, the baby birds are napping. Where are they at? There they are. Oops. There's one hanging out. I'll move this board. Look, they're eating now. They're little peep holes. Oh, look at that little peepser. Pee pee. <laughs> yeah, it gets nice and warm in there because it's insulated. Yeah, she's getting some probiotic water. It's good for chicken growth. Somebody's chirping away in there. Hmm. Yeah, so they added these holes. It's pretty cool. And I picked up these chicken treats at the tractor supply. They got two different ones there. It's kind of hard. I don't know if they'll break that apart. Yeah, so I'm literally, I got to keep these uh, baby chicks separated from the hens for whew, at least two months until they grow. <clears throat> but these are the dividers that I took out of the egg laying box. So they got the whole run of the space. Oh, and then I got, I bought some uh, cedar chips too, along with some pine shavings and two bags of uh, starter feed, 20% chick starter growth. So I took the cedar and I started throwing it into the tunnel down there. So my theory is you put cedar there. No insect wants to go in there, and maybe mice won't even bother because they don't like cedar. It's a natural repellent. So it works pretty good. And I put all new, I uh, got two bales, three bales of straw today. So I put that in the hen pen because hen's feet were all muddy. muddy. So when they were coming in here, they were trucking mud. And uh, still one of them's being fucking wise ass. As soon as it comes in, it takes a shit right there. And they're like taking a shit there, there, and there. So I'm trying to come to my senses, like, don't worry about the floor. You don't have to come out of here with a fucking mop. And as much as I'd like to keep the floor looking brand new, but it's a hen house. I'm not going to put any straw down on this floor because over time it dries out. It becomes dusty. And literally like the lights and the other thing, this was caked on with dust. And it was fucking dust everywhere. And what happens with that? That gets into the water, and the water starts smelling really bad. So <clears throat> I'm going to see how that works out with dust control. Because um, I, I was initially thinking of, you know, putting the cedar down, pull down in here. But when you have that stuff down on the floor, the chickens, when they're scratching, they kick it, and then it goes back into the water and stuff. And what I do daily is, though, a couple times a day, when they eat, they mess, they get the mess, the stuff all over the floor. I've been cleaning that up with a scraper and I just put their food back in there because the other hen house, the old one, they had so much stuff they knocked out of the food bin. There's probably, I don't know, probably like six, 700 pounds worth of food that was on the floor that I had to dig out with a shovel. So it's just a little maintenance. I keep the broom out here and take care of it. And... This uh, egg laying box works perfect for fucking little chicks. Put a light in there, heat lamp. It's very warm there. I gotta bring my laser gun out here and see uh, what the temp is. It's supposed to keep them at 82 degrees the day old, so. That's the hen house. I think uh need some art to hang on the wall for them. Some like Iron Maiden and Slayer and Megadeth. I think the birds will appreciate that. 